Dynamic modeling is now easier and faster. PTV Visum 2023 allows you to combine MISO and macro simulation in the same model run, drastically reducing both the efforts needed for detailed modeling and the runtime. Plus, modeling down to the level of lanes brings to Visum new use cases that were previously only possible in microscopic simulation. Now, let's have a look at some of the new use cases and how you can work with them in PTV Visum 2023. Many cities now plan lanes for high occupancy vehicles, or HOV. The aim is to reduce the number of cars on the roads and to promote car sharing. In PTV Visum 2023, you can study the effects of the introduction of these HOV lanes. Look at this model of the city of Paris. It is based on supply data from PTV model to go and demand data from the French validate model. Here, we show freeway links in hybrid SBA that are simulated mesoscopically in red. The selection of these links can simply be made using a link attribute. At some of these links, HOV lanes are going to be introduced. They are shown here in blue. The visualization of the results shows the effects on the ring road. The green vehicles represent HOVs. Red vehicles are single occupancy vehicles. Journey times are recorded for scenarios without and with HOV lanes and displayed for the northwest section of the ring road. Journey times are reduced for HOVs by nearly one minute and a half, whereas single occupancy vehicles must accept longer journey times. In Visum 2023, the new hybrid approach enables a much quicker turnaround time of subarea simulation analysis. For example, you can better identify and adjust signal timing offsets for progression corridors. Let's see how this is done in this model of Portland, Oregon. First, identify simulation focus area. Then, specify geometry and intersection control, including signal timing. Next, run the hybrid simulation. Now, identify the bottlenecks using the recording. Set up the progression corridor where signal coordination is going to be improved. Adjust the signal offsets and timing that are shown now by the continuous green bands. Simulate with updated timing and control. The cue on the eastbound left turn movement is significantly reduced. You can assess the journey times of buses driving on dedicated bus lanes, whether they are installed along parts of the corridor or all along it. This is useful when you want to analyze if and how dedicated lanes reduce the journey times of buses. In this model of the British city of York, we look at a hypothetical scheme, an extension of a bus lane to the inner ring road. The question is, how much can runtime for buses be reduced? The starting point is the operational transport model of York. The area of the scheme is located close to the center, just outside the inner ring road. Here's how it is done. First, define the study area. Next, define the base case and do something scenario. Now, code bus lanes for the extension in the do something scenario. And here you see the two scenarios side by side that are the basis for evaluation of bus journey times and the comparison. In the next step, set up SBA as hybrid macro-meso simulation. It's just an additional click in the procedure parameters 
plus selecting the link attribute that identifies links simulated mesoscopically. After executing the assignment, watch the simulation of the base case. Then, evaluate journey times. In this model, you can now see that there is a 16 seconds runtime saving for the bus corridor of nearly 1 km. For the latest updates, great new features, and a 30-day free trial of PTV Visa, visit myptv.com.